All right, what's up guys? So in today's video, uh, we're gonna talk about what if I don't have any credit at all? What do I do? All right, so I usually give two ways to do this. I give uh, kind of like the slow way, build your credit slow, and I give the fast way, build your credit fast, right? So let's start with the first way, which is kind of the slow way. The first thing you can do is get what's called a secured credit card. What is that? So say I have 100, I have 500, I have $1,000. You can go into the bank and say, hey bank, um, I want to apply to get a secured credit card. I have $500 right now. I will give you $500 and in return, you give me a credit card with a limit for $500. So what they would do is they will put your $500 in a bank account and after that, they will give you a credit card for a credit limit of $500. Now, mind you, let's just turn that $500 and say you gave them $1,000, all right? Mind you, um, your credit card utilization shouldn't go over 10%. So let's say that they gave you a credit card for 1000 bucks. Do not go over $100. Let me screen record real quick. All right. So if you see right here um, what a good credit report should look like, um, credit card utilization should be under 10%. So if you have a thousand dollar credit card, that means don't go over a hundred dollars, right? This is why, and you might ask, okay, well, a hundred dollars is not a lot to spend. This is why you want to eventually over time, increase your credit limits and say, okay, let me have $5,000 and let me have $10,000. All right. But what is the cons to a secure credit card? The cons to a secure credit card is when you're start, first starting off building credit history, um, your credit history is going to be low. So if we look down here to what a credit credit report should look like age of credit history should be between three to five years all right this is why you can go into the bank and ask for a car loan you can have an 800 credit score but if they look at your they look at your credit history and look and say your last credit card you opened is only six months old they're going to deny you on that car loan all right so you can't sprinkle sugar on shit meaning that if you have an 800 credit score it doesn't necessarily matter about the score it matters what is in the score do you have a, have you paid off a car before have you have a house do you have a mortgage you know what i'm saying do you, how many credit cards do you have how many accounts do you have what's your payment history it's not like it's like looking at somebody on the outside just because somebody looks beautiful on the outside doesn't mean they are that that's the same thing on the inside right so that's kind of the slow way is called a secure credit card. Again, you can go to the bank, you can give them $1,000, $5,000, $10,000, and in return, they'll put that in a bank account and give you a credit card for that limit that you gave them in cash. All right. So then there's kind of like a faster way to do it, which is becoming authorized users on credit cards or co-signing. So the first thing that I did to build my credit history is my first car that I got, it was a Mercedes. No, the first car I got was a BMW but I paid that cash. The second car I got was financed to the bank and I got co-signed with my dad. So what my dad did, because my dad has good credit and he has a good credit history, what he did was he signed on the line to say, okay, they're, lo they're loaning the money to me to go get this Mercedes, right? But if anything happens, I stop making those payments, my dad is gonna be just as liable as me. Now I had paid off that car and everything, but that started the good credit history of building good credit because he became uh, a co-signer on the car, right? Now, so the next time I go and get a car, whatever car I want, the bank is gonna see that I already paid off a car. Now they're more willing to give me um, a car loan now because now that I, that took three years to pay off that car. Now I have three years of credit history, right? So that boosted up my credit score. Another way, a short way is to become authorized user on credit cards. So what does an authorized user mean? That means if I have a credit card right now, let's just say, uh, da, 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 da. I have a credit card right now, right? This is a credit card. Let's say that you come to me and say, hey, Evan, uh, let me become an authorized user on your credit card for two months. All right, so let's say this credit card right here has been seasoned, meaning that I've had this credit card for five years. If I add you as an authorized user, that literally that day will report to your credit report, credit report that you have a credit card on file for however limit. Now let's say this credit card on file is $25,000. It's gonna report to your credit history or your credit report, which is, a, is, is basically a report card saying that you have a limit for 
$25,000 on a credit card. Now, if I have, now look at the screen, screen cord. If I have um, under 10% utilization, that's gonna report to your history too. You have under 10% utilization. If I have no late payments on this card, I have 100% good payments. It's gonna report to your history that you have 100% good payments. If literally, again, if this, this uh, credit card is five years old, it's gonna report to your credit, meaning that this is five years old. Your total accounts, it's gonna report one account, but let's say I, I have 15 credit cards which I have one that's $10,000, I have one that's $20,000, I have one that's $100,000 credit card. It's gonna report how many accounts that I, I add you as an authorized user. And hard inquiries, that's gonna be nothing because you didn't take on any inquiries. So that's really gonna boost your credit score. So let's say I put you on for two months and add you as an authorized user to my credit card. You can go into a bank and get a car loan because guess what? they only they only take a snapshot of your credit report so let's say you've been on my credit credit cards for a month as an authorized user it's going to report to your credit report right so when you go in for a credit uh, when you go in to get a car loan right they they do a hard inquiry on your credit report they check your credit report they're going to see this whole report just as if they're looking at my report because i added you as an authorized user so it's going to look better so they're more prone to give you a a car loan, right? Even a mortgage. Your credit, your credit score and your credit report only matter in the time that you need to get a loan and you need to apply for a loan. So you only need it to look good for a certain period of time, a certain snapshot of time when they look at it, which is could be a week, right? Then it could go down because after you got that car, you, you got the car. After they give you a loan, they give you a loan. They can't repossess a loan like, oh, your credit score went down they they see it for a period of time and if it looks good enough if it you know hits all those markers that they need to give you a loan they'll give you a loan right again this is the short way over here which is you go into the bank ask for a secure credit card you start building your credit out slow and over time you start you know applying for different credit cards um and different things of that nature or you can do the fast ways which is find somebody that you know knows likes and trusts you and become an authorized user on their credit report not authorized user on the credit report, authorized user on their credit cards. Or you can do primaries. You can do things like, um, you can they can report good payments on, let's say that they have a house. You can go to them and say, hey mom, hey dad, you have a house. Could you report to the credit credit bureaus that I'm making on time payments? There's there's some websites out there that they will let you report that you, you live there and you're renting out a room and it will report like a primary to your credit report saying that you've been making good on-time payments and paying rent, even though you live in their house and you're renting out a house. They'll report that you're making $600 payments. Same thing is for a car. Like I, I think I showed the, the yesterday, I showed uh, Swapolis. You know, so there's many ways to do it. There's a, a slow way and a fast way. I'm just giving you both ways you can do it. Um, so uh, I hope you like this video. I hope you got something out of this video. Um, I hope you come back. Uh, and get some more knowledge on how to build credit and I will see you in the next video. All right